All right, good evening, guys. It's about uh, 9.40 at night. Um, the kids are asleep. Uh, my wife's in bed reading, and I've got a little bit of personal time that I can finally get to this safe that, uh, that I've been wanting to crack for a little while. Um, the story on this safe is, it, it is really kind of a sad story. Um, a family contacted me that lives a couple hours away, and it was their father's um, and their grand, uh, their grandfathers of their children, and um, he had become estranged from the family, and um, you know basically wasn't involved in the kid's life, wasn't involved in his grandkids' life, um, and basically just uh, you, for whatever reason didn't agree with how they were living, what they were doing. Um, not my business, um, but um, he got older and he developed Alzheimer's and he got dementia and um, eventually sadly passed away. And um, the brother and sister, the children of this man, uh, went through and tried to find if he had a, a will. He didn't find any will. He never communicated to them what he wanted to do with, uh, with his stuff. Um, so they went and went through his, his, um, his mobile home, um, which was, um, let's just say, really, really bad condition. I actually cleaned up the outside of this safe um, because of the odor of it. Um, so I can't imagine. Uh, you know the living conditions um, but um, they contacted me and said hey we don't know what's in this safe we can't pay the money to have a locksmith open it up um, you know would you be willing to do it for us and and initially you know I said you know I, I don't know I probably can um, and then I started to think about it I thought you know I don't have a tutorial on a direct action safe which is what this is all my tutorials are on gate drop so I said hey you know what um, let me do a video, uh, a tutorial on um, how to op how to you know crack a safe that's uh, that's a direct action, and let me do a video on uh, the contents, um, and then um, send everything back. Everything's your guys's, and they said, hey, that's great. We'd love to do that. And I said, fantastic. Uh, so we got it, and uh, it's here. Um, and uh, what I want to do is do two, two different videos. Um, one's going to be the tutorial video, and then the other's going to be the content reveal uh, video. And um, I definitely know there's something in here. Uh, so even if the content reveal maybe doesn't work out, uh, I've still got the tutorial on how to open a, a direct action. So I'm pretty excited about it. So for those of you that just want to see the content reveal, um, we're going to fast forward right to that, lucky you. And for those of you that want to do the tutorial, um, I'm going to start that right now. So um, let's get cracking. All right, so what I've done is I've actually set up um, this dial with my DDM, my uh, digital dial magnifier. But unlike a gate drop, um, I don't have it on the dial. I've actually got it on the handle or the wheel. Um, and that's the difference between cracking a direct, uh, direct action and cracking a gate drop. Um, all your indications you're really going to get both between uh, the handle and the dial. Um, so I've got that hooked up and what I can do is, uh, uh, I'll show you here, if I turn it all the way counterclockwise, the wheel turns, you know, the di dial turns, excuse me. Um, if I turn it clockwise, the dial locks because the dial for direct action have what are called false indications on the drive on the main wheel the drive wheel um, so what I want to do is turn that all the way back uh, counterclockwise and I'm going to turn that on so that's my zero point and if I move the dial you can see that uh, it goes back to about zero and you can see the lock points on that so that's, that's set up now, good to go. Um, I've got my camera on the dial, I've got my camera on the DDM. So the way that the direct actions work is you've only got two wheels. Um, you got the first wheel, the second wheel, and then the third is your drive cam, and that's what actually locks as you turn it with the false indications. So most direct action are gonna have between eight and 12 uh, false indications, um, and actually, between seven and 11 false indications, and one is the real indication. Um, so the first step in this uh, is get our piece of paper set up with clockwise, counterclockwise, and clockwise. That's what we're doing uh, for the wheel turn. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the dial a whole bunch of times um, to the, um, 
uh, counterclockwise, and we're going to go to zero. Now we're going to look at our uh, our DDM. You can see it's zeroed out, and we're going to give it a little bit of pressure to move it, and we're going to turn the dial. All right. So that first indication uh, is at about 93 to 95, and you can see right there it skips 93 to 95. So now we release it, turn it past 93, give it a little bit of pressure, and keep turning until you hit the next indication. All right. So right there, that's at 85 and 83. All right, and what I'm doing is I'm looking for a deviation on that, either the deviation on the depth, um, and you know for this it's about 97.2, um, but more likely on these on the uh, direct action, you'll actually see a deviation in how much the the dial can vary. Um, right now the last two it's only moved two, so I want to see a variation on that. So let's keep going on that. We release it, relock it. Okay, 75, 75, and it's at uh, 97.2. All right, so that's not it. Release it. Okay, and again, these are pretty consistent. So that one's uh, 63 and a half, 65 and a half. So that's still two. Um, that hasn't changed. Okay, 54, 56, 97, 2. All right. Okay, that's still the same. And again, you just keep going. So I got two, two and a half. So at um, 34, 36 and a half. So we got a little bit of an indication there. So we'll note that um, at, uh, we'll call that 35. Still about the same. Oh, there we go. All right, so you can see the DDM, there's no difference. But look at this, it's from uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 and a half. So that's a three and a half jump. So that's definitely a great indication. So let's write that down as our main. So that's at about uh, 15. All right, and let's just keep going through the rest of the dial. All right, the last one's at about three, and that's at two. All right, so our best indication was at 15, and our next best indication was at 35. So let's go with 15 right now uh, as the third number. So now what we want to do is unlock it and we want to go counterclockwise till we engage all uh, both wheels. So now we're actually working on the first number. So let's go all the way around and we'll go to zero. And what we want to do is kind of the standard um, uh, standard method for uh, going by twos as we do for our gate drop. So since this is clockwise, we're actually starting at basically 100 or 99, and we're going backwards all the way to zero. So let's go 98, and then we'll go 14, and now we look at our DDM. So 97.3, and now we go back 96. 
seven, one. Okay, that's a little better. So that was at 92, so let's write that down. 92. Let's go 90. And one of the biggest things, most important things, is to make sure the pressure you put, see what I can do is I can actually manually push it farther if I put more and more pressure on it. So you want to make sure you put the same amount of pressure uh, on the handle every single time. All right, so now 88, 15, 86, 15, 84, 15, 82, 15, 80, 15, 78, 15, 76, 15, so I'm getting a lot of 97, 1, 97, 2, so I'm thinking this 92 wasn't an indication. It's just variations a little bit, and again, the DDM is pretty sensitive, um, so um, I mean, it's a, it's a 2,000 indication um, on, the, on a 360 degree, so you got a lot of resolution there. All right, let's go 94, I'm sorry, 74, 72, 70, 68, and this is where patience, you know, kicks in. You just got to take it slow 66 you can't rush it um, you know for me I need a place that's quiet without kids running around and screaming um, which you know, hey kids are kids you know that's 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 how they do things so you know I wait for them to get to bed and then I can I can focus And again, if you make a mistake, if you overshoot it, you know, just do a rotation back and then go back and pick up where you need to. 62. 58. Fifty-six, fifty-four, fifty-two. Also keep in mind, whoa, fifty-two. Wow. All right, so 52. That's a, that's a hell of an indication. That went from 97 down to 95. So that's, that's a good sign. All right, let's keep going. 50. Now let's see if it goes back up. Nope, so 50 is there too. So 52, 50, 48. There we go. And now it's back to 97. So definitely we're gonna we're gonna nix this 92 and 52, 50. Um, that's that's a solid indication. Um, now you got a choice here. 
you can um, stop what you're doing and go with 52, 50, we we'll probably do 51 um, as the first number and then start searching for the second. Um, but I usually like to just finish the wheel. See if I get something that's stronger. See if I get something that's better. So let's keep going. 46. Now the other thing to remember is you've got um, both wheels engaged. So you can also get an indication uh, when the second wheel is engaged, but the second wheel um, is, en is engaging in re uh, the reverse direction, counterclockwise instead of clockwise. So this 5250 um, is going to be a lesser number when you go in the clock clockwise direction. It'd be around um, 46, 44. Um, so that could be an indication that you hit uh, the second wheel. So that, again, can sh could almost tell you exactly what the combination is, if that's what it is. It doesn't usually happen that way. Um, but just something I want to note. guys you know at least I'm glad 36 I got one solid good indication and if that's all I get I'm happy I can't tell you how many safes I work on that you don't get anything you get no indications whatsoever and uh, you just got nothing to work with. Thirty-two, almost there. Thirty. Okay. Twenty-eight. Six. Now, we're going to get really close to hitting the other dial, uh, 18, probably hit it here, yep, right there. So that actually went all the way around and started moving it. So what I usually do um, is jump it a little bit. So we'll just jump it to where uh, the first wheel and the third wheel are basically lined up just on the rare chance that it's the same number. Um, so it's not. So now what we do is we just push to 12 and then back to 14, 10, or I'm sorry, four, uh, 15, 8, okay, 6, 14, whoa, there we go. Okay, six, and let's try four, and then 15. Well, that's interesting. Um, so I got it between four and 16. Let's go to two and see if that resets. It did. Okay, so I got good solid indications at four and six. Um, so... We're going to put those down, four and six. So, now the question. 
do we go with five or do we go with you know five or 51 um, for our first number um, and I definitely think that locks that locks some um, 15 as the third number because remember we had 35 and 15 indicate um, uh, on the uh, on the third number so what do we want to do all right so let's see it's, it's, it's clockwise well you know what we hit 51 first Let's do 51 first. So, and, and this is really, really, really quick. Um, but I'll do it slow. So we go 51. And then we do one full rotation. Until we pick it up. And uh, pick up the, uh, the second wheel. And then we'll want to go... So it picked it up right at about 48. So we go 48 for the second uh, for the second number, and then we go back to 14, and we check the check the dial. Um, so then we go 51, and basically you don't really have to even look at the DDM 52, because when you hit the right number, it'll open. 54. Six. No. Fifty. Yeah, sixty. Oop, shot it. <laughs> Sixty-two. Fifty-one. Um, and this is a really I won't say low quality, 64, safe, um, but basically this is a money exchange safe. Um, thin metal, 66, um, basically what it is is people get this uh, when they buy a certain number of coins, um, replica coins. So that's kind of one of the things I think is probably in here, um, maybe not. Um, but a lot of people buy these replica coins and um, 68 you know they're really not not worth very much um, it, they just make people feel good that they're collecting coins even though they're replicas and basically fakes but some people like them like to look at them I don't judge I just uh, like the quality of some safes and not like the quality of other safes. So we'll leave it at that. All right, we're at 76. Seventy-eight. And again, this is a direct wheel, so if you overshoot it, it's fine. It's no big deal. Um, it's not turning any other wheel. Eighty. And again, I could I could really turn off my DDM right now because once I get the right number, it'll open. Six. Come on, baby. Ninety-eight. Now remember, when you hit zero here, you're not done, because you started at fifty-one. Right when you picked up that second wheel. So you got to keep going. 
until you um, get all the way around. And I just hit the other one. So we'll skip that 12 and we'll go to 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, ah, 24. Not looking good for fifty one. Forty. I think we actually started about forty eight is when we touched that wheel. Forty four. Forty six. Okay. That was not successful. So I'm going to say that 5250 50 is not going to be the first number, so that leaves 5. So let's just go with that because that was our only other major indication. Um, and then we do the same thing with 5. All right, so we counterclockwise, or sorry, clockwise it a bunch of times until we get to 5. And then we rotate one full time. And then we pick up the second wheel. And then start dialing. So uh, I picked it up at about two. Four. Six, eight, and like usual, I'm talking so much, I'm not always focusing, so a lot of times I'll do the same number twice, twelve, <sighs> 5, 44, 15. Uh, whew. Well, that was fun. 
Um, so I, I think I commented earlier that this 52 and 51 might be um, an indication on the second wheel, um, and that's exactly what it was. Um, so instead of turning counterclockwise, it's going to be 44, but if you're going clockwise, um, it lines up with where the, uh, where the um, uh, handle is uh, at 51. So um, that's just kind of how wheels, how um, you know, wheels work, and and, and the the combinations is um, you can get indications, but you have to know which direction to push them. So, um, yay! Hey, this thing's uh, unlocked. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Um, if you want to see what's actually in this safe, jump over to uh, the other video. That's the reveal of this safe, and. Um, and yeah, I, I, I hope you enjoyed it. hope it was good. Uh, please like, uh, please share, please subscribe. Um, you know, tell me what you think. Tell me if this was helpful. Tell me if there's something I could do better. Um, you know, I do this for you guys because I want to share my knowledge and, um, you know, have you guys enjoy, uh, you know, the, the mystery of what's in safe and, and hopefully the history of what's in safes. Um, because that's, that's what I always hope, is there's something cool inside I can share. Um, so thanks a lot, guys. Um, not too bad. Took, um, you know, about uh, about 40 minutes. So that's not, not, not too bad. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to get to the reveal section of this. And uh, you guys have a good evening. And uh, get out there and get cracking.